There are many kids whose homes have burned down, who have fled domestic violence situations, and whose parents have to choose between the roof over their head and the shoes that their kids desperately need. Many of us take for granted our basic necessities, including new shoes for school, but there are kids out there who are forced to wear hand-me-downs and squeeze into sizes too small. My name is Kayla, and I want to make a difference. Last spring, I overheard some girls talking about how they couldn't go to prom because they couldn't afford a dress. I wanted to help, so my friends and I planned an event where we collected over 600 formal wear items to send these girls to prom. I wanted to find a way that I could help these girls year-round. That's what gave me the idea and inspiration for forming the shoe crew. I set a summer goal to collect 2,200 pairs of new shoes to give to disadvantaged kids. I was very passionate about giving these kids something new, something they could be proud of, something other than hand-me-downs, so that they could wear it and be confident. In order to reach our summer goal, I gathered a group of about 20 friends to help me plan and organize events where, instead of an entrance fee, we charged a new pair of shoes. We worked as a team, recruiting sponsors for events such as pool parties, roller skating, and go-karting. At the end of the summer, we stacked up our 2,200 pairs of shoes. The full impact was shown the next week when we distributed the shoes. The one boy that caught my heart the most was about seven years old. He was there with his two younger brothers, and he himself had torn up shoes, but he didn't care about himself. All he cared about was that his little siblings were going to be okay, and that they were going to get shoes. I was standing at a table, and this little girl and her dad started walking up to the table, and her shoes were just ripped to shreds, and she could hardly watch. She was like waddling up to the table. And her dad sat her in the chair, and he would grab the pair of shoes off the table, just trying to shove them on her feet. And you could tell that they were like a size too small for her foot. And she's wincing and making faces. And so I grabbed the shoe sizer, and I went over, and I put it on her foot, and I realized it was actually a size and a half bigger than what he had in his hand. And I grabbed this pair of like sparkly pink shoes and put it on her feet, and her face just lit up with such a smile, and she got up and ran away. So she could hardly walk when she got there, and then was able to run away. It just was so incredible to see that little girl be so moved by just a pair of shoes. Um, a little bit of what we saw today, there was a little girl that actually came in, and she was in little pajamas that were easily at least three sizes too small. She only came just below her knees, and. Uh, they were filled with like who knows how long she'd been wearing them. And the worst part is she was barefoot when she came in and her feet were filthy and you could tell that she probably walked here barefoot. And, and I don't know if she had any shoes at all. And it wasn't just the kids coming in too, too small shoes, she didn't have anything. And it was absolutely heartbreaking, but I'm really glad to get her some new ones. A lot of people don't really realize how much they have until they see others that don't have the things that they do. Now, nearly one year later, the shoe crew has collected over 4,000 pairs of shoes and raised over $20,000. To us, a pair of shoes is just something simple that we wear every day. But to a lot of kids, a pair of worn down shoes versus a brand new pair of kicks can mean the difference between getting bullied and not getting bullied. A brand new pair of shoes can give kids the confidence they need to excel in school rather than falling behind. And that's what makes the shoe crew so important to me. I want to give kids the confidence they need to do well in life, and with that confidence they can excel in everything that they do. It's a stepping stone to success. And that's where our slogan comes from. We are the Shoe Crew and we're making a difference step by step. The Shoe Crew came to my workplace and donated over uh, 200 brand new pair of shoes for the victims of Hurricane Sandy. They've also donated 126 pair of brand new shoes to the Juguetes Por Sonrisas Honduras, which they gave brand new shoes to kids that didn't have anything new. The Shoe Crew has uh, been a great partner with Baseball Home. They've been so great. they participate in so many different events. Uh, one that stands out in particular is the Back to School Giveaway, where the Shoe Crew gave away over 800 pairs of shoes. And uh, the great thing about that is that our community is so needy and most of the children that we service do not have the resources to have a new pair of shoes. When we had her back to school giveaway, they were the second biggest contributor next to another uh, Fortune 500 company. They've given us shoes for our marathoners, they've given us shoes for our ballet dancers, and uh, their momentum keeps growing. And that's very impressive for a group of teenage kids. 
Wow. Those are awesome. Do you like your new shoes? That's awesome. High five, dude. Thank you, Shoe Crew.